from 1976 in Casio. Here's the CQ1 computer quartz one calculator, stopwatch, alarm time, calendar, things like that. Inside we have instructions. Take a look at those. A little uh, leatherette case. Maybe it's real leather, I'm not sure. With the calculator inside. Computer Quartz CQ1. Keypad, time, start, stop, lap, alarm button, slider switch, ST, stopwatch, off, time, comp, which is the computer, the calculator essentially, and set functions. Time and computer. A couple of things you might see up there. And it is extraordinarily hard to see, but down here there are some notations for days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc, etc, and a little thing for PM at the right. I also have a non-working version of the Radio Shack badged unit, the Chronomath, nice presentation case, and I think the uh, Casio version came with something like this too, I believe. This is the Radio Shack Chronomath. Mine does not work. And I could never get it to work. It's the same thing. Uh, model EC223, I think that says. The same examples for setting the time and the alarm as the Casio version. Everything is identical except for the badging. And with this, I got the, I've had this for several years, um, the AC adapter, which would probably also work on the Casio. But the Casio works fine with batteries, so. Um, but this is a uh, 1.4 volts tip negative. That'll surprise some people who use a one and a half volt tip positive unit. Probably burn their uh, CQ1 out or their chronomath. But it's nice to have this if I ever find a working Radio Shack one or if my Casio ever gives up the, gives up the ghost on batteries. I'll have an adapter for it. Here's the orientation of the batteries. Uh, the AA and the two one and a half volt um, button batteries. I got the LR44s in here. And the positive side of the LR44s face the double A, so the negatives are back in the back. There's some of our badge information again. Here's as far as I could get inside. I could not figure out how to get that main board out. I undid every screw and clip I could see and it was uh, tight as anything so whatever the trick is I don't know. So you really can't see much from the angle I have. It's pretty compact. Mine did come with the instructions. Now I'm not going to go over these instructions. They're pretty boring. And a lot of people won't want to see that. But I will, at the end of the video, after the video, I will page through this kind of still frame and let you pause your screen and read them if you're really interested in the instructions. Um, although I think these are online in various places. So, but we'll at the end of the video, go through this uh, silently so you can 
get some reference if you need it. Okay, let's see if I can set the date here. The time. All right, um, we're in set. This is 2020. Date. Let's see, this is July. Date. 15th. Date. And let's see now. It's uh, about eight time thirty five time and it's PM so we press the plus sign and press time and that little hyphen that appeared shows the clock has started. So now when we press the time button in the time spot we should get that 835. And there's a little flashing dot there that should be over um, Wednesday, but I think it's over Thursday. It's a little hard for me to tell, but I think it's over Thursday. All right, while we're at it, we'll try and set an alarm. Go to set. Let's see if we can set one for 845. 8 times 45 plus time I'm not sure that's time time and then we'll call us the first alarm so alarm one so alarm one is at 8.45 and it'll have like the alarm one sound, which um, as you can see from the book, there's a series of long and short beeps for various things, but they all kind of sound the same. We'll get the one that's number one at 845 supposedly. I don't know what we'll be doing then, but we'll be doing something. That would ring for 60 seconds. I'm going to turn it off. All right, looking at the stopwatch function, it's pretty simple, like you'd expect from most uh, digital stopwatches, STE stopwatch. And this button starts it. Stops it. Clear. Or you can start. You can go for a lap, which sort of pauses your screen, but the stopwatch is still counting up in the background. And you can recall, start over. Now we're up to 18 seconds. So stop and all clear. So nothing fancy about the stopwatch. All right, let's look at the computer calculator for a minute. We'll set it to comp for computer. By the way, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but this has a really nice vacuum fluorescent display. Really nice. It's nice and green. I really like it. Um, the basic functions are just the basic functions, you know. Uh, 65 plus 33 equals 98. 87 minus 68 equals 19. 21 times 5 equals what? 21 times 5 equals 105. There we go. All right. 
87 divided by 32 equals 2.72 is about. So those functions are uh, as you would expect, but it can do some other things too, kind of cool things. You can also add hours and minutes together um, for totals. For instance, if I wanted to add, see how much four hours, 11 minutes, and no seconds, and you have to put a seconds in or it'll air out. Plus, uh, I don't know, one hour, 51 minutes, and uh, what else? 23 seconds, let's say. Equals six hours, two minutes, and 23 seconds. I'm going to presume that's right. So that's a little nifty trick there. There's a couple other of these little uh, games you can play the uh, calculator too, but I'm not going to go through all those. Actually, I think um, there's an old video by the Maritime Girl about this who goes through a whole lot of those examples. You might want to look at that if you want to. And also, if you're interested in the insides of this unit, make sure you check out Tech Tangents video from a couple years ago where he really breaks it down and uh, goes through all of the components on the board and does some repairs. I highly recommend if you're interested in the inside of this unit that you check out that video. But that's the Casio CQ1 from 1976. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye. And uh, now we'll scoot into the manual for those interested in that. All right, well, let's uh, go through the instructions. I'm not going to talk during this. Uh, you can pause your screen and read what you want to read. And here's our specifications.